Here, 200 meters underground, the town of Yorayoki is slowly but surely working on its future, a highly radioactive future. In a couple of years, this tunnel will be a nuclear waste storage facility. 100 workers are preparing the site. One of them is Kimo Campaina, a geologist who regularly inspects the rock in the tunnel. At least this table is quite, quite good explanation at this table. We don't have uh, such kind of events like earthquakes or, or huge faults which are active at the moment. Uh, we are quite constant area in the Sven Venoscandian platform. The potential hazards don't really bother the 33-year-old. He lives just a few kilometers from the disposal site in one of Yorayoki's picturesque wooden houses. His confidence is shared by many in the town. What would be deemed unimaginable in other parts of Europe is slowly becoming a reality here. The mayor of the 6,000 strong community actually lobbied to have the nuclear waste depot sited here. If waste disposal is here so we can get more power stations, that's why the key word is responsibility. So if we get the benefit of uh, nuclear power, so we have to uh, take care of it on the whole. Yuriyoki itself has two nuclear power plants. As well as supplying electricity, they provide jobs for more than 400 people. In its own words, Yorayoki calls itself the most electric municipality in Finland. If we want to keep our standard of living, we have two substantial choices. Uh, this nuclear power and uh, important from Russia. So if you ask Finnish people, answer is straight. Meanwhile, construction of the country's third nuclear power station is proceeding at full pace, and a fourth is already in the planning, right next to the waste depot. Potential accidents and their consequences are not an issue, for most people at least. But left-wing politician Aya Ailazma sees nuclear waste as a ticking time bomb. People just think about jobs and the money involved, but the risks far outweigh the gains. We don't know whether the rock will be stable enough and whether the facility will remain safe for our children and our grandchildren. The waste will have to stay down here for at least 100,000 years before it's no longer dangerous. Kimo Kampainen and his fellow geologists perform regular laboratory tests on samples from the tunnel, but even they cannot provide a 100% guarantee the rock will stay safe for that long. For locals, jobs seem to be the overriding concern, rather than potential risks in the future. I haven't really thought about what would happen if they would start leaking or anything. I just, I trust those builders that they are doing a good job. The power plants keep our town alive. People have jobs so they don't leave. We need them here. Nuclear power means more than light and heat for the people of Yorayoki. Here, it's part of the local identity, despite all the risks.